Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda if you're new here. I, if you can't tell by my voice, am sick. I will go over that in a little bit with you guys, just like where I've been and what's been going on. Um, but yeah, I decided I needed to film because I've been in bed just like laying down and resting, which is what I need to do. But with that comes like a mind just my mind is just racing non-stop and I just need to do something. I'm feeling a little bit better today, so I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to take it slow. I got ready and feel a lot better. Um, <laughs> you guys should have seen me the last three days. I've looked, I've looked pretty rough. So yeah, I'm just going to do like a slow what I eat in a day, what I'm doing today. I have a big Christmas haul because I did go to Target right before I got sick and that could have been what got me sick, honestly. Um, I got a cold. I have a really bad cold um, and it might have been that Target trip, honestly. <laughs> but I'll chat with you guys about that in a little bit. I am going to make breakfast because I'm actually really hungry and I have an appetite, which is good. So I'm going to make um, just a quick egg, a little bit of bacon and toast. Um, we need to go grocery shopping really bad, so today's going to be kind of interesting with what I make, um, but I am also defrosting some chicken and some beef for meal prep because I need to get my meals going because I've noticed I'm starting to like crave certain things because I've been eating just soup every day. But I also made some coffee. It's the same coffee combo I have been having as the Dunkin' sugar-free peppermint mocha and unsweetened almond milk, but I'm having it hot and it's gotten cold, so I need to microwave it. Um, and then I will have a little sit down chat with you guys about my experience getting the COVID test. And, um, I also am going to be showing you guys a really big Christmas haul in this video. I'm really excited about that. I'm so ready for Christmas. I mentioned that in my last video and a lot of you guys said the same thing. So we're not alone in that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to heat up my coffee and make my breakfast and then I'll have a little sit down chat with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. And let's just jump right into this video. All right, I saw someone do this on Instagram. Um, she roasts her little bell peppers like this. She just puts them on parchment paper and just roasts them in the oven and they get wilted. And she says she just eats them whole like that. I absolutely love bell peppers, so I'm going to try it out. I am going to spray mine with some olive oil spray and then just add a little bit of sea salt and then pop that into the oven and let it roast. And that will be like a little side for my meals. So I can put the air on? Yeah, you can put the air on if you're really hot. I'll blame it on you. some roasted peppers which is going to sizzle up real quick in here because it's pretty hot but I'm going to add some of those oh my gosh it smells so good then I just push that over to the side so I can cook my eggs we got one egg and then I'm going to add some egg whites I have a slice of pumpernickel bread I decided to toast up. I'm just going to put some of the toppings on top so I'm not putting butter on it because the toppings will kind of add flavor to it. Here is my breakfast. It's very colorful and it looks delicious. So, all right, here is my breakfast. Looking absolutely divine. So, when you're sick, my biggest tip is to have a good filling breakfast. And if you can't make it, like if you feel so bad you can't make it, ask your husband to make it <laughs> or your partner. Um, 
your wife, your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is. Um, but if you can get in the kitchen, make a really good breakfast, a really filling breakfast, something really good that keeps you nice and full. So, I was sick. I got sick like Monday or Tuesday night. Um, I started feeling like I had a really bad sore throat. Um, then my husband came home on his break, like at five o'clock in the morning, he gets a break and I was feeling horrible. I asked him to make me some tea, give me some medicine. And then the next day I slept all day. And then I kind of was thinking, hmm, I wonder if I should get a COVID test because my sister's pregnant. And I saw them Wednesday, the week before. So I didn't know if I had COVID then or whatever the case may be. I just felt like I needed to get a test. Um, I haven't been sick in so long, you guys. All last year, I didn't really get sick. Um, so um, it just hit me really hard. And my sore throat was really bad. So I made an appointment to get a COVID test. And it was at 1245. And they didn't see me until like 4 o'clock because there was such a long wait um so it was just a really long day I was feeling like crap I looked like crap I will insert a picture after they did the swab test like yeah the swab made me really red and my eyes watery but like even so like I looked so bad because I felt so bad and I was like having to like force myself to stay awake to wait around to get the test and then yeah it was over really fast it just the only thing is it burns after he pulls it out, like, after he pulls the swab out, it starts to burn and you can't help but cry and sneeze and, you know, my nose was already runny <laughs> um, from being sick. But I got the test results back in, like, 20 minutes and they, it was negative. So he said it was probably just a really bad cold, that the cold has been going around and also a flu, just like your normal flu has also been going around. He says, but I didn't have a high temp, so he didn't think that's what it was. Um, just a cold. So to rest up, drink lots of fluids, over-the-counter medicine if I need it. I'm trying to kind of, you know, balance rest and work and like have a good mindset because when I'm just laying in bed watching TV, I just wasn't feeling good and like in my headspace. So that's why I decided to film like a what I eat in a day <laughs> while I'm sick. So yeah, that's kind of the update. All right, I'm gonna eat this delicious, delicious breakfast. And then I will maybe do my Christmas haul after. Let's check on the peppers. Oh yeah. You look so good. All right guys, I need to do some meal prep. Um, I'm in the mood to do it. I feel good enough, so I'm gonna get it done so I have some meals. I think I'm gonna make some meatballs and then I'm also gonna make some kind of rice or orzo. I think I might make some orzo because I know I have some and I really like orzo pasta. And I just wanna make like big bowls like meatball, lettuce, some um, veggies and things like that with some sauce. I love making bowls, um, nourish bowls I guess you can call them because um, everything in it is really healthy and really good and whole food and lean meat. So I'm gonna make some carrots. I have a bag of carrots I need to use up. So I love, love carrots. I'm going to saute it with a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I just mean very little, like a teaspoon of ghee. I think ghee makes everything taste really good. <laughs> and then I love to mix it with this Honey Hype. This is the best seasoning in the world. I'll leave the link down below for you guys if you are interested. It's like a home, um, a homemade spice from a lady who makes it in Tampa, Florida, where I'm from. So she's awesome, and this Honey Hype is the best seasoning. It makes like a sauce. It's like a rub, so it's a seasoning rub, and then when you cook it down, it makes like a sauce on your food, and it's the best. Um, so this is what it looks like. Honey Hype, this is what the rub looks like. And I'm going to just add just this to the carrots and it's delicious. I will leave the recipes for what I'm doing down below if you want, you know, to look through what I added. If I don't show everything in the video, I'll leave it down in the recipe in the description box below. Okay, I'm just gonna add the carrots. Whole bag of carrots. Kind of try to toss that into the ghee. Oh my gosh. Had to put it in a bigger bowl. <laughs> oh 
a lot of seasoning. And then just give that a good mix. All right, and then we're just gonna saute this down in the pan. Okay, so for the meatballs, I have 96.4 lean beef. I'm using a big package, 36 ounces, so it's gonna make a lot of meatballs. And then I just randomly pulled out some stuff that I have in the fridge that I need to use up. So I have some mushrooms we're gonna add in there, some garlic, I have a purple onion I need to use up, so I'll add that. And then I also have some rosemary, so I'm thinking that would taste really good in the meatballs. And then I'll add some flour. Instead of breadcrumbs, I like to do flour because I think it combines the meatball and holds it together nicely. So I'll add some flour in there and salt and pepper, garlic powder, some seasonings. Um, and yeah, just mix it all together and make some meatballs. I'm gonna try to cut everything up really small because they're going into meatballs. So I'm really, really gonna chop these um, veggies up really small as I can get them. Almost like a mince. Okay, we have such a large freaking bowl <laughs> of meat. So I have to season this pretty well because I don't like unseasoned bland food. So I'm gonna season this. I will leave the seasonings on the screen and down below because I'm just gonna start tossing in what I like. mix together I have mushrooms rosemary onions three tablespoons of flour I have some minced garlic and now I'm gonna kind of mix this together before I add my eggs oh my gosh this is gonna make a million meatballs I'm gonna add some eggs in here I'm doing two eggs I feel like it needs two usually I typically I would do one but since I'm making such a big portion I'm doing two eggs and then my least favorite part is I need to kind of use my hands and mash this all together and make a, a really good consistency. First batch is going in. I feel like this is going to take a while to cook. I got my carrots done. Just letting them cool down and I'll pack those up. And then I'm just going to wait on my meatballs to cook. And I'm going to have to do probably like two batches, maybe three, because I still have a lot left over. All right, meatballs are cooking, so I decided to do a little Christmas decor haul from Target now while the meatballs are in the oven. So everything I got from Target, that's the only place I've shopped. Besides, I did order some ornaments from Anthropology that are coming in the mail um, for the Christmas tree. I'm trying to order like really, really nice ornaments so that we can keep, you know, throughout the years. Um, but yeah, everything, for this haul is from Target. They had some really, really good stuff. Oh, that hearth in hand. That oh, It's a kind of expensive, but I feel like it's really good quality and really pretty. So I got just a basic white pillow. Um, and then I also got a little Christmas themed one. I got this red and white one that has really cute details. These little red pom-poms. And I just thought that would look really cute together. I didn't really want to get two red ones. I kind of wanted to get two different ones so I got a white one and I can use this throughout all of the seasons so I thought that was kind of a good idea to get a white one <laughs> and then this really cute red one I also have a rug coming I love the rug I have now but it does not match this Christmas theme at all so I got a new rug for like Christmas fall time I'm really excited because it's a rug that I'm not I've never had this kind of rug before it's very like bright and it's a color that I don't really decorate very much with, but I do love. Um, I'll insert a picture here of what the rug looks like so you guys can know kind of what it will look like. And I kind of went based off of that. I was gonna do lots of green was the plan, is green and black. And then I don't know what happened, but I like lean more towards red when I was shopping. So that's what we're going with. And then I got another rug for the front door because the one I have now is like bright orange and it does not match this Christmas theme <laughs> so I got this this gray and white rug which will look really good with the red rug I think it's gonna look great together so this will go up by the door when I get the red one in I want to wait until I get the red in to put this one down so it doesn't get dirty 
it's kind of expensive for these little artificial garlands. It's six feet and it was $24.99 and I needed three of them. So kind of pricey, but I'm definitely keeping these to decorate with for all of my Christmases as long as they look good. But I thought this one was really pretty and this is kind of what led me to do red is I saw this and um, they had like a pine one that I picked up. It was pine and it had cream little berries on it. Um, so it was just green and cream and I was gonna do green, black and cream, but then I saw this and me and Joy both like this one better. So I went with a more of like a red theme and I just think it looks really pretty. So I got three of those. I'm excited to decorate with that. I might have to get some fillers throughout it because it is a little gappy, but we'll see. Um, I'm not too picky on that because I already spent a ton of money <laughs> on the garland. Oh, here's another one. So I have another garland in here. I got this green, really beautiful green knitted throw blanket. It is so soft and comfy. I think it was worth the money and it's really big. I think it was like $30. Um, but it's so big and it's so beautiful and soft and I seriously love it and I think it's just such a pretty color. I'll probably even use this after Christmas because I love the color and it's just so nice. Or I might buy another one in like a cream color because I love it. So I already have one little tree that kind of is like similar to this um, but it's like a gold creamy color I showed in my last video. So I want to do on a table just like some different trees. So I got this one because I thought this was so pretty, but it's just really pretty cream and sparkly. And I think this will look really good with the gold tree as well. So I'll have like some trees set up. And then I also got this little tree, which is so cute. It'll match all the green that I have throughout the house. I just thought this was adorable. I'm a sucker for anything clay. This is like a clay and glass little tree and it's just so cute. And then I got some plates and stuff um, just for like cute Christmas photos and if I make like some cupcakes or some bread, I can serve it on this and take some cute photos. But I also got a little mug. I was gonna get a different mug that said follow la, la la <laughs> and Mary, but I don't know. I, I just really was drawn to this mug. I thought it was so cute. And again, I like to get things that I can use more than once. Like Christmas is gonna go by pretty fast. So I got this so that I could use it more than once. And I think it's just so cute. And then I got Christmas themed plates. So I thought it was like a, a nice, you know, balance. This is the hearth and hand line. I thought this was so, so cute. And I was gonna get the cup that had the tree in it, but on the bottom, but I decided to go with that other mug instead. And then I got just this plate that is so nice. I love the like uneven border and then just a simple red line. And of course, how cute does that look together? Don't forget the cute mug. I thought that was really, really cute. And then this is my favorite piece. I think this is so cute and hopefully I can actually hang it on the wall because it's, it's a little heavy, but it's this like these three gold bells with this red and white yarn. I just think it's so cute and I want to put it on the wall. Um, right over here actually there's a wall that I want to put it on. I just think it's so cute. It is pretty heavy though so we're gonna have to see how we can hang that. I got some hooks and stuff for the garland and possibly the bell and then I got this new room spray. It kind of smelled like Christmas to me. It's called Nior Oddwood Musk. Yeah it smells very Christmas to me it smells really nice it kind of smells like pine needles um so i got that to kind of not always have to have a candle burning i want to kind of spray this so my candles last <laughs> and that is everything that i got from target and then i need a few more things and i'll probably do another haul of what i get i had some really cute stockings at target that i might go back and get I was debating if I wanted to get it from Anthropology, but I think I might just get the ones from Target. Um, but yeah, I'll do another haul once I get everything, and then we'll do like a Christmas decorating video. I'm not gonna do any decorating yet. I wanna wait till I get my rug and my Christmas tree, and then maybe do like a Christmas decorating RV video. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to let me know, comment down below, give it a thumbs up. That lets me know you guys wanna see that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go put this all away and then check on my food because I'm already 
hungry. All right, guys, I have my blender out. I'm going to make lunch. I'm not really, really, really hungry or anything, so I'm just going to have a smoothie because I am kind of warm, like my body feels warm, so I feel like a smoothie will be good, and I need to use up some frozen fruit and some random fruit that I have that needs to be used up. Now, I don't have a banana, so this smoothie might not turn out the best. Typically, I always put banana or avocado in my smoothie, but I have some yogurt, which is actually going to add quite a bit of points to it because I think that yogurt alone is six points, but that's okay because I have the points. So I have some Trader Joe's frozen pineapple. Um, I'm adding that into the blender. And then I have some fresh blueberries. I'm going to add that. So it's going to be an ugly color. <laughs> blueberries always make your smoothies ugly, I feel like. And then I'm going to use this whole um, So Delicious what is this? Strawberry banana coconut milk yogurt. I'm going to add that in there to make it nice and creamy. Since I haven't been eating hardly any greens, like it's pretty bad. I haven't been eating any veggies <laughs> since I've been sick. I'm going to add some of this super green powder so I can kind of get in some greens and just have it that way because I just haven't been in the mood to be eating greens while I'm sick. I'm just going to pop that in there. And then I'm also going to take some maca powder. Maca is really good for hormones. So I'm going to take some of that. And I used up all the stuff I needed to. That's why I love smoothies. I even need to use up this milk. I have a little bit of milk left. So I'm going to add that in there. I know that's probably like one third, one fourth cup. There was hardly any in there. So I needed to use that up. So I just poured that in there. Now we're going to go blend it up. Mm. It's so good. Really, really good with the pineapple. It's really thick, which I like. This is how I prefer it. It's like a real smoothie, um, like a real thick one. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this. It's really, really good. I think the yogurt made it really good. It's gonna be a little bit higher in points, but that's okay, because the yogurt alone is like six points. So I think the whole thing is actually six points, because I don't add points for blended fruit. That's like the one thing I just don't do. Um, so yeah, no points added to the blended fruit, but I am adding points for the yogurt. The milk, I think, is zero, because there's only like one fourth cup, which is zero. It's unsweetened almond milk. And then the powders are zero. So six points, I think, for this. I'll double check though in the app just to make sure. I have the second batch of meatballs in the oven, but here is what we have. We have 20 meatballs already. I have the carrots, the honey hype carrots, orzo pasta, and then I'm gonna have another batch of meatballs that are gonna go in here. So this will be dinner tonight. I'll show you guys how I combine it all together and what I do and then this will be some meals throughout the weekend and the beginning of the week while I was drinking my smoothie I got a delivery and I started opening it and then I was like hmm I should probably show it on here um happiness boutique sent me some jewelry and it did take a little while to get here I think um the shipping was a little bit longer than what I would like but I can say the pieces of jewelry that I got are really, really nice and really pretty. And I love that one tree is planted for every item sold. I love that. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Um, so every time you purchase something um, from them, they plant a tree, which I love because we need more trees because that is life. Um, but these are absolutely stunning. Um, and I love the message. It says, laugh as much as you breathe, love as long as you live. And these are like gold little pearl earrings and I am going to wear these for Thanksgiving because I have a white shirt and white boots and I actually needed earrings and I completely forgot that they were sending me this because um, it took a little while but these pearl earrings will look so pretty with my white shirt for Thanksgiving so I'm definitely gonna wear these I think these are beautiful and then I got this necklace because like I have little necklaces like this but I want to start layering necklaces and I really love these like snake chains I think they're called um I'll leave the items down below but I really like these gold necklaces like these chains like this 
I think they're really, really pretty. Um, the chain on this is long, which I love because I cannot stand when I get a necklace that's like super tight on me and it looks like a choker. I love it when it's like you can kind of control the size. Um, so I love that. And then I am all about detail and they have a freaking seashell right there. I'm a sucker for detail and I live in Florida and I love the beach so that was like really cute I thought especially if you can see that like if I put my hair up and you are like behind me and you can see that little seashell I think that's so cute um, the chain is really really nice and it's a pretty good price pretty reasonable prices for these so I'll leave a link down below for anyone interested at Christmas is coming up so you'd want to probably order now <laughs> um, because the shipping was a, a little while so yeah I'm really really happy I think this is probably my favorite that was a nice little treat since I've been sick to get these in the mail right now. Perfect timing. So maybe there is a reason why they were late because it definitely just cheered me up big time. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to get dinner ready. I'm just going to make a big bowl of all the stuff that I made today with some lettuce and some pasta sauce and some cheese so I'm gonna make my bowl and then I will show you guys what it looks like and I'm also editing my video back here so I'm going to enjoy my dinner by my computer while I edit this video <laughs> Alright guys, here is my dinner. This is just my little bowl of meatballs. I have some cheese. I have the orzo pasta with some lettuce underneath. I have some peppers that I cooked earlier. Carrots, a little bit of roasted peppers because I love those. And then I'm just using the tomato pasta as like a dressing. And then I'm also having this diet cherry 7-Up, which is actually really, really good. I have my gingerbread candle burning. I got that also from Target, but I already lit it, so I forgot to show you guys that. But it smells so good. It smells like gingerbread cookies. And yeah, there is my very weird random dinner. But you guys know I love making big bowls like this and just mixing it up and eating it that way. Oh, look at that. so delicious you can have this whole thing for seven smart points which is a lot of chocolate um i like to just have half put it back in save it for later oh my god mm, it's so good if you like dark chocolate definitely definitely check jojo's out it's one of my favorite companies i have found this far like this just helps me so much with my sweet cravings and it's really really rich because it's dark chocolate and it's <laughs> it's amazing if you've tried it let me know if you guys love it I've had a few messages saying you guys are a huge fan and love it so if you have um, recently tried it let me know in the comments mm, mm. oh my gosh mm. oh. Leave me alone. <laughs> I am so tired I have to edit this video um it's definitely hit me even just being slightly busy today that i'm really really tired so i can't wait to go to bed hope you guys enjoyed this video i do feel better that i filmed and just got out of bed and i feel like sometimes being productive is kind of like a form of self-care i feel like i just needed to do something so i am glad that i filmed and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was somewhat in interesting <laughs> to watch i wanted to just say thank you guys so much for watching these videos i know i've I haven't been as active um, as I want to be and I'm really trying but just thank you guys for watching these videos just you watching and knowing people are still like excited when I post makes it a lot easier for me to film and I just I owe you guys so much and I just want to say thank you um, and I hope you guys are all doing well I also wanted to say I posted a really good post on my community page I just want everyone to read it was really about weight loss and mindset and how like mindset is like everything I feel like or like the biggest majority of what goes into weight loss is your mindset and with holidays coming up and like eating more food and you know temptation or you know maybe eating a little bit too much than what you planned we can tend to feel really guilty over that and our mindset will start going into like a negative headspace because we feel like we've failed um, and I know that it's a really common thing and I wanted to talk about it so I did make a post on it 
on my community page to so make sure you're, you go check it out because I feel like it was just a good message for everyone to read especially with everything going on and just weight loss in general you know it's it's a slow thing um, and it can be it can be a mixture of a lot of things so yeah check it out thank you guys for watching give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys oh no you and Mr. Loud Boy in the background drinking water. Huh? <laughs> you drinking water? Oh!